Okay, here. Uh, well, looks like we're going to be doing a quick little run through a portal. <laughs> I decided, hey, why not do it? Everybody likes Valve. No one likes me, though. <clears throat> Damn. Well, if my theory is correct that this actually may help me, which it won't. Welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Admission Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that all so fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities. Serious injuries may occur for your own safety and the safety of others. Please refrain from Turn back. The portal will open in three, two, one. Off the goddamn portal. Woohoo! Excellent. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, oh. note the incandescent oh particle field across the That's exit. Such. This aperture science material emancipation grid will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 megawatt aperture science heavy duty super colliding super button. Perfect. Please move quickly to the chamber lock as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. Whee! I will expose myself to the big shiny button. Okay. I'm going to take a loading screen. You're doing very well. Please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grip, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate endothelium, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. Very good. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. With it, you can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should move. and all. I got hit by something that wasn't even there. Ooh, sweet evil.
Please proceed to the chamber lock. Mind the gap. To ensure the safe performance of all authorized yeah. activities well, and not remember by a testing to work day is the perfect time to have her tested. Welcome to test chamber 4. You're doing quite well. Really not. For your own safety, do not destroy vital testing apparatus. Excellent work. As part of our required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. Certain objects may be vital to your success. Do not destroy testing apparatus. As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two, one. All right, let's kick this up. Safety is unbelievable. You, subject name here, must be the pride of subject Hong Kong here. Warning devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate a high energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. The first one only Good. Now use the aperture science on stationary scaffold to reach the chamber lock. I picked the game up like halfway through it. Please know that we have added a consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Good luck.
And stop here.